Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 11th, 2022. Well, yesterday we had an inflation rate of 8.5%, declining from 9.1%, and the market loves it. We celebrated big time with that number yesterday. We do want to kind of keep that in perspective that our inflation rate is 8.5%. But we're continuing that party this morning, stretching to the upside here with a big bullish open here. So watch that closely uh, this morning. So how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, yesterday we certainly celebrated an 8.5% interest rate, or inflationary rate, um, and uh, pushed the market up substantially yesterday. And as you can see, we're continuing that push here this morning. So our upside trend is definitely bullish here, and um, any rest or pullback would certainly set up an opportunity if we can hold, if we can prove to hold that support level. One thing you will can want to consider is we are kind of stretching this out um, pretty far here and um, that we may soon find that little bit of a pullback. But we have some data that could certainly keep things going, keep that party going on today. So watch that closely. Breaking that downtrend, that's a bullish sign for the market. That's great. Now we just need proof that we can actually hold that area up here as support. So watch carefully in case the bears find some in inspiration for a pullback. It could be um, a rather dramatic pullback and punishing for those who kind of jumped in at the last minute. So watch that close. If we take a look at a SPY, um, SPY chart, same thing, very, very bullish here, breaking through resistance levels celebrating eight and a half percent inflation and we're pushing through um, our downtrend here in the chart so watch that closely that is a very bullish uh, signal for the market any rest or pullback in here would set up an opportunity and again we want to see proof that we're actually going to be able to hold this breakout we've had these breakouts before in the charts and then it reverses and does not hold this may be a different circumstance and there certainly is an awful lot of hype surrounding um, this market at the moment so let's take a look at our qqq qqq also moving to the upside pretty substantially and as you can see running that bullish trend breaking the downtrend here everything is bullish here so watch for that little resting pullback in here making sure that we can hold these support levels in the chart and then I think we've got an all clear sign for an upside move for the upside move to continue in the market assuming they can hold and then if we take a look at our IWM IWM also very bullish here pushing through to the upside as a matter of fact the most bullish of the indexes yesterday but I do want to point out and go back here um, and point out that as you can see um, although we popped really hard yesterday, you'll want to notice that our volume still remains um, weak, kind of surprisingly weak. I don't know um, it, that that bothers me a little bit. Um, it, it's not a game changer for me, but it does bother me a little bit that we can't seem to follow through with um, substantial volume on this rally and that does make me worry that institutions may not be showing their complete support to this rally just yet so watch that carefully we do want to keep in mind it's a very very typical pattern and we've seen this many times before where we get a substantial rally like we did here in, in 2020 and then we get a substantial pullback as well so you want to be watching for that possibility and if you you look for other market bottoms um, you will often see either inverted head and shoulders patterns or double bottoms um, being placed so watch for that possibility can't rule that out but right now the bulls are definitely in control let's take a look at our VIX our VIX made a big move yesterday dropping sharply and really extended 
into the close of yesterday and we can see with the gap up this morning we're probably going to continue to decline here now my worry once we uh, cross down below the 20 handle remember inflation rate is eight and a half percent bonds are inverted we've got issues here in our economy for sure we've got china slowing down we've got europe slowing down we've got the uk actually um, going into recession they've admitted it and several other countries out there with pretty tough problems and remember our consumer is very very strained eight and a half percent inflation so <laughs> keep an eye on this we may be getting just a little bit uh, complacent here um, considering sure, certainly it's it's nice to see that what the Fed actions are doing are bringing that inflation down that's what we want to see and um, we also want to make note that we are a long ways away from stopping um, rate increases here in the market and stopping the roll off of the balance sheet and tightening of money supply so you'll want to keep that in mind we may be getting just a little bit on the complacent side here as we party um, here in the market let's take a look at our t21 22 our t21 22 man oh man we continue to just stay very very elevated and we're going to gap up this morning probably pushing us very very close to the 100 level in t21 22 we've seen that once here recently uh, where we pushed up into that 100 level and then got the immediate pullback so watch for that possibility i'm not saying it's going to happen but watch for the possibility of a pop and drop this morning. We'll see if we can follow through after the market opens with this gap up open. But watch for that possibility because as we stretch up here, we're running out of that upside um, opportunity. So be very, very careful. Now, if we take a look at our T2107, T2107 also did a nice job yesterday, stretching up and we're pushing up here, trying to break through that downtrend. Now that we have done that, we wanna see if that pullback that is likely to come in the market at any time um, will actually hold um, this area of support so we can push through and that would really change things here in the market dramatically into a full-on bullish mode 33 percent of the stocks holding above their 200-day moving average now that's a major improvement but 33 percent of the stocks holding above their 200-day moving average means we have nearly 70 percent of the stocks below their 200-day moving average not exactly the great bullish um, kind of impression that we're getting in the prices of the market so just kind of watch that carefully at some point in time if those bears find inspiration the pullback could be a little bit punishing if you jumped in late into this rally let's take a look at our t2108 now our t2108 is also very very bullish and i would say probably reaching that extreme level that exuberance that we see in the market and stretching up this morning that exuberance will kind of reach a, uh, a fevered pitch so watch that carefully um, 77 percent of the stocks above their 40-day moving average obviously massive improvement here break of the downtrend bulls are definitely in control but you want to watch for that maybe that over exuberance level when we reach up here this many stocks pushing up like that we tend to get a reaction to the downside so once again you want to watch for that potential of a pop and drop can't say it'll be there but you do want to watch for the potential of it, that we may have kind of exhausted the buying uh, mood here. Um, we may do that here soon, so watch carefully. And then if we take a look um, at our T2101, once again, I want to remind you guys that we continue to see volumes that are light, um, um, not breaking through um, some of those averages that you'd like to see. And um, so we're really not getting great information here um, momentum wise on the T2101. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. Now I'm having quite a few troubles here this morning. Um, we have, for some reason, um, uh, my broker TD Ameritrade is down this morning. I can't even bring up my trading platform 
this morning. And I also have um, the, uh, the normal Econo Day calendar is not working this morning. So there may be something out there in the internet, a server bank or something that's running into some problems. But if you take a look here on the trading economics calendar, you can see what we've got going on today. We're going to have a PPI reading before the open today. So we have that chance of some some volatility and you know maybe we really keep the party going here this morning if that PPI number also shows a, a decline we do want to keep that in perspective though it may decline it's still likely going to be very very high and that's creating lots of problems with the consumers so watch that carefully but we're going to get that PPI um, number today so watch that closely we're going to get jobless claims here today so we'll, and that comes out before the bell as well. We've been seeing those um, initial claims rising here. Um, in fact, I think it's about an eighth month high on those initial claims. So watch that carefully here. Um, they have been creeping up. Um, we've been catching those layoff notices um, in the news reports here. More and more companies pulling back and do, actually doing some layoffs. So watch that close. Um, that could spike up and might be that little bearish incentive that um, brings on a little bit of profit taking in the market. Can't say that that's going to happen. Just watch for that possibility. And then keep in mind that we're also going to have some bond auctions and um, 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 our, our bond auctions are, are going to be pretty interesting here um, because we continue to see that inversion of short-term um, options over the longer-term options. So keep an eye on these. We, we actually have a 12-month bond that's inverted over the two-year bond. So not a good situation um, on the bond front and continues to point toward recession. So watch that carefully. Um, let's take a look. We have on our earnings calendar a busy day, but not a super busy day. We've got over 200 companies listed, but uh, the notables in that list are considerably limited. Um, we're starting to pull back on those notables. But if you want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the full list of notables for this morning. And I'll go through several of them here today. Um, Baidu uh, will be one to be paying attention to here today. Baidu will be reporting. We're going to hear from Canadian Goose. Um, so keep an eye on that one. This has been breaking that downtrend, moving to the upside. Watch carefully for that. We're going to get um, Dillard's reporting today. Watch carefully on the Dillard's report. I don't know if this is the pre-market act. Oh, sorry, guys. Messed up there. That was a two-day chart we were looking at. So we're getting a nice pop there on Dillard's. Let's back up here. We're getting a little bit of a pop here on Goose and um, well just a little bit. I, I can't say that that's the report. I don't believe it is. Um, just a little bit of elevation here in the excitement of the morning. Um, we're going to hear from Posh. Uh, today. Keep an eye out on that one. Rivian might be an interesting one to pay attention to. This has been a challenging um, uh, company here for Amazon to own. Um, gave them some pretty um, heavy losses last quarter. Let's watch this closely. Um, could be an interesting report here today with those rising costs. Um, see if they can have handled that well enough to uh, push this on higher. Um, uh, we're going to get a um, report from WTI today. And we're going to hear from WPM as well. There's a few other in there that you want to be paying attention to, like ILMN will be reporting. So watch some of those. Um, catch that full list of notables with that link below the title of the video. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor and click that 
thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who's doing that and, and, and the huge response uh, you guys have been going through and thumbs upping other comments on the channel. Thank you so much. That engagement helps a lot with that YouTube algorithm. So the channel is continuing to grow and all I can do is try to put out the best videos I can and um, it's up to you whether or not that channel grows. So thank you so much. We are continuing to grow. Let's take a look at um, these stocks that could be setting up and remember guys, they're not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful here um, um, in this market with the data points coming out. There's a lot of volatility volatility out there. Now yesterday, if you remember, um, I mentioned um, the US dollar and the US dollar declining is going to be an interesting situation because what we see normally when the US dollar declines is all of our commodity prices go up. So you want to keep an eye on that. We saw um, yesterday energy um, pushing down and then pushing right back up um, as that dollar declined. Energy prices, um, gas prices, uh, food prices, commodities, gold, silver, metals may respond bullishly if that US dollar does continue to decline. If the expectation is that the Federal Reserve is going to reduce their rate of um, interest and we see other countries starting to actively increase their interest rates, then that weakens the US dollar. And we'll want to watch that carefully because if we do see a major decline in the US dollar, we can expect those commodity prices to pop right back up pretty strongly. And that would hurt our inflationary rate. So watch that closely. Now, if we take a look, um, um, those energy stocks. Now, these aren't ready for prime time by any means. You'll notice we've got quite a little bit of resistance here in the chart. So we don't know if we're going to hit that resistance and fail. I think there is that chance and possibility. But you also want to watch for that possibility that these prices could spike up if the dollar declines. So watch that close. And if we take a look at some of the uh, metals out there, take a look at like FCX, copper starting to show a little bit of sign coming up here out of uh, this bottom. Copper would be one of those beneficiaries of a weaker dollar. So watch that closely if we can pop that resistance right there coming up in that chart. This is a pretty interesting pattern um, and coming up uh, through that 50 day moving average will be important. So watch that close. You might want to also keep an eye on like Alcoa. Aluminum came up pretty strongly yesterday and uh, we're trying to move a little bit higher here this morning. And again, I believe that's more than anything a response to a weakening dollar. So as those commodity prices come up, we would look for, you know, um, all of our costs to continue to move up um, if those commodities uh, move to the upside. If you take a look at um, some of the grain commodities, um, take a look at corn. Corn popped and dropped yesterday on that move, but again, a weakening dollar would typically send uh, these uh, food price commodities higher. So you'll want to watch that. Maybe uh, DBC, um, an ETF to keep an eye on for that commodity tracking ETF. Made a nice little pop yesterday, pushing up as a result of that declining dollar. No worries yet because we haven't broken this resistance in the chart, but we will want to watch that because that could become a major factor if that US dollar does begin to weaken. So watch those closely. I think you could also um, really start keeping an eye on maybe uh, GLD, gold. Gold has been creeping its way to the upside. We do have a significant resistance in this chart, but you'll notice if we draw a downtrend line, we've kind of sneaked out from underneath that downtrend. A declining dollar could spike gold here pretty quickly. And you can see we're getting a little pre-market pop because we're seeing that US dollar decline this morning. So watch gold, watch silver. You might watch some of the miners out there. Um, um, uh, they are starting to perk up as well. So keep a close eye on that. Another place would be, you know, natural gas. We're seeing natural gas popping higher yesterday 
and trying to extend that out here in the pre-market this morning because of that declining dollar. So remember, we could be right back into kind of an ugly situation with fuel prices if that dollar declines. So it's a delicate balancing act here for the Fed to deal with. So watch some of those commodity prices. As you guys know, I've been watching CCJ. I'm actually holding CCJ, and CCJ bounced around quite a bit yesterday. But once again, showing that possibility that it may be popping up again here this morning with that declining dollar. So keep an eye on like CCJ and URA, um, some of those commodity based um, stocks out there. So um, I apologize. I spent all of my time here on those commodities this morning, but you will want to keep an eye on those if that dollar does decline. If we are going to see uh, the Fed pulling back on rates, expect that dollar to decline in these commodity prices to start shooting right back up. So everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your training. Thank you so much for listening and being here today. I do truly appreciate it. I want to wish you all the best and I'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Take care, everyone.